Let's just roll. Yummy, oh, the yummy. All right, folks, we back in the lab, we back in the studio. This is the Captain's Low Podcast. I'm your host, home of your sports and trending sports news. How does that sound? Trending sports news, let's get a clap on that. <laughs> trending sports news, trending sports news, trending sports news. I'm tired of being goofy today. Uh, today, well, first of all, Thanks for being here, man. If you're new here, make sure you share, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend, support the pod, leave a review. All uh, audio and video can be found anywhere, YouTube, as if you're watching and if you're listening, Spotify, Apple Music, Google, all that shit. Anywhere you can stream, you can find me. Um, tonight's topics are going to be, it's going to be NFL Week 15 recap and just a little bit of NBA. I'm not going to get straight into it. Um... But my son is at practice, and I'm probably going to do an on-the-bench segment there. So let's get into it. NFL, uh, week 15 is done. Um, just do just go over a couple of notable games. So you got Commanders played the Rams. Commanders lost 20 to 28. They are now 4 and 10. You know, what's the surprise there? Uh, Raiders and the Chargers played Thursday night football, 63 to 21 i'm crazy i'm, t- I'm tired of seeing the Ra- uh the uh, raiders on uh primetime football too just want to throw it out there um then you got the jets and the dolphins uh dolphins beat the jets ass 30 to 0 dolphins are now 10 and 4 that was without tyreek hill uh 49ers and the cardinals play 49ers busted their ass 45 to 29 if i'm not mistaken 49ers are 11 and 3 let's write that on there I want to get that right. Uh, Cowboys got their asses whooped by the Buffalo Bills, thirty-one to ten. They are now ten and four. Bills are eight and six. Playoff hopes are alive. And the Eagles lost to the Seattle Seahawks, seventeen to twenty. Eagles are now ten and four. Somebody check on Cornell. Cornell, you good? Hey, look. I just want to make sure you're straight. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I know I get them calls. I get them calls, man. When the commanders be getting smashed, you've been quiet. You left me alone. I ain't gonna leave you alone, no. <clears throat> anyway, let's do it. Commanders. So four and ten. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I I don't think we're gonna win no more games. I think we're really gonna end the season with just four games, maybe five. I mean, at this point. Whatever teams we beat, it's the teams that are going to the playoffs. They're going to pull their starters. So, um, it you know, it is what it is. Sam Howell had uh, – he went 11 for 26, 102 yards, one touchdown, one interception. The boy was running for his life the entire game. So, what do we do as a solution? We bench him the last four or five minutes of the game in the fourth quarter. We put Jacoby Brissett in there. He goes 8 for 10, 124 yards and two touchdowns. And Scary Terry had six catches, 141 with one touchdown. Could have been two, but he just came up short. Shout out to my man Terry, man. He was complaining he was just getting cardio the last couple of games. So, you know what I'm saying? He put them numbers up. Um, <clears throat> don't get it twisted. Um, the score is really 28 to 7 because them them two touchdowns didn't come until uh Jacoby Brissett came in. And at this point, the game was over. So them little touchdowns he threw was, was you know. Salute to you, you know what I mean? But the game was over. So that was just really like, all right, well, the game is over. Y'all not about to come back anyway. You know what I'm saying? But 
Um, what what happened to um Sam Howell is our franchise quarterback? Y'all remember that shit? Y'all remember we were screaming that? Oh man, he he just needs an offensive line. Like y'all was saying all that shit. Oh, he just he just needs a good coach. You know what I'm saying? But maybe you know Eric Bieniemy just need, needs to coach him better. The quarterback coach needs to coach him better. Now all of a sudden he's he's not our guy. So now he's not our guy, and then y'all saying draft another quarterback. What? Bro, the way he been playing is the way he been playing all season. He just didn't hit this week. This is this is this is just another week he didn't hit. Okay, he only had a hundred and and damn, what is it? He only had a hundred and two yards. Okay, I mean this is some other teams I'm getting ready to name that that had less yards than that. You know what I'm saying? With that that in one ten games, so now he's not the guy. Let me get a sip of water on that man. Y'all bugging. This, this, see, this, it's shit like this is what questions me as, you know, my contract. You know what I'm saying? Season is almost over. I got to figure out, am I going to do another one-year deal as, as a diehard Commanders fan? Am, am I going to start shopping for other teams? I'm already looking at another team. I'm already looking at the Ravens. You know what I'm saying? I'm already looking. I said, I don't like purple. I don't like purple, but guess what? I don't like burgundy either or gold. So, you know what I'm saying? I, I can make it work, but at this point, I need to see a winning team. Um... So now he now he's not the franchise quarterback. Come on, man. This this is really his first. This is his first year. Rookie season. Still at one point had the most passing yards in the league. And now he's not our franchise quarterback. Well, who is? Who's the franchise? Let me know. L let me know in the comments. Let, let, let me know somewhere, wherever you're watching or listening. Let me know. If Sam Howell is not the franchise quarterback, who is? Is Jacoby Brissett? Is whoever's coming out the draft? Well, we got number four pick in the draft, bro. If it's not a, if, if I'm telling you right now, if you don't draft, if the first pick is not an offensive tackle, I'm gone. That's it. Hit the road, Jack. That that's what's going to determine it right there. If we don't draft an offensive tackle, offensive lineman, offensive somebody to protect the damn quarterback, if that is not the first pick in the draft next year, I'm done. I'm gone. It is what it is. I don't care who the coach is. I don't care if it's Bill Belichick. I don't care if it's one of the Harbaugh bro Harbaugh brothers. Whatever, how do you say his name? Sorry. If it ain't one, if it ain't an offensive tackle, I am gone. So who's the franchise quarterback? Because I still think he's the franchise quarterback. I just think that you know what I'm saying. He he's a fresh quarterback in the league on a shitty team. And that's what happens when you're on a shitty team. He ain't the only quarterback out here. You know what I'm saying? That's a rookie that's on a shitty team. Then they're not playing well. Carolina, it's a couple teams. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is a year of quarterback injuries. You got quarterbacks getting dropped left and fucking right. So, come on, man. Y'all, y'all be y'all be too emotional, man. After these losses, like we already we knew who we was gonna be. You know, I said that we was gonna win six games and. It may only be five. It may just be four. It is what it is, but. Give that man another year, bro. Give him another year. I think he's strong considering how many sacks he done took, and he's still getting up and playing 100% each game. He looking like a franchise quarterback to me. But, um, you know, y'all can be the judge of that. On to the defense, though. Um, defense getting torched per usual. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. Y'all did, did cause two fumbles. You know what I mean? You did. But – you're still leaving Cooper Cup open, wide open, 60-something yard bomb, wide the fuck open. <laughs> Bro, I mean, we, we fired the defensive coordinator. I mean, that's, that's what we wanted, right? We wanted him gone. So what's the issue now? You you got you got Riverboat calling the, calling the defense, right? He calling it? Let me know. But y'all still getting, still getting torched. Defense getting torched, secondary getting torched. Y'all ain't even trying to rob. I'm watching Kendall Fuller running right behind the dude. He ain't trying to strip the ball. He ain't trying to go for the shoestring. He just, well, he going out of bounds anyway. So let me just, you know, it's like five more yards that he, that he got after it, but just let him go. Man, the season over. They don't want to play. The season is over. These boys don't, they don't want to play no more. They, they want to get just get it over with. You know what I'm saying? We, we eliminated. We're officially been eliminated. Let's just get it over with. Let's get to off season. Let's fire who we need to fire. I, I thought I was going to get my wish, and I was going to get a fired coach during the season. It doesn't look like it's going to happen. But, but as soon as that last game, we, what did we play, San Francisco last game? 
I need him gone. As soon as as soon as that shit hit zero, breaking news, Ron Rivera is fired. Get him the fuck out of here. Just my two cents on that. And we got the Jets this week. At the Jets. So we're going to be there. And guess who coming back? Old man Aaron. If I'm not mistaken, Aaron Rodgers is coming back this week. It'll be just our luck. It'll be just Washington fashion. Where you got the 40,000 year old quarterback coming back from a, a Achilles injury at the end of the season with nothing to prove. And he come back and tear our ass up. Just our luck. I'm calling that now. We lose to the Jets. The, the world is already saying we're we going to lose to the Jets. So we, we lose to the Jets and then we on to the next. And then we play Dallas again. And then the 49ers. I think that's it. So it is what it is. Next team. Ba, ba, ba. Cowboys. You know I got to get y'all. Cowboys lose to Buffalo 31 to 10. Dallas is 10 and 4. Y'all ain't look 10 and 4 in that game. Uh, quick stats. Dakery. Dakery Prescott, 21 for 34, 134 yards. One interception. Uh, Josh Allen only went 7 for 15, 94 yards, one touchdown. It didn't matter because the running back, James Cook, ran that shit up y'all ass. 25 rushes for 179 yards and one touchdown. He was averaging 7 yards a carry. Mm. How does that taste? Um, what, what's, y'all, what's y'all predictions for the Cowboys? Let me know. How far do you think the Cowboys go in the playoffs? What do you think? NFC Championship? One and done? Super Bowl? Looking one and done to me. I'm calling it now. Dallas Cowboys are going one and done. Y'all ain't y'all ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? Your receivers got the ball. Y'all did y'all thing, but when it when it come when it come down to it, man, y'all fold. Buffalo will do the same thing. Buffalo, they're they gonna get in the playoffs and they're gonna fold. Y'all ain't got it. It's gonna be San Francisco versus whoever. You heard it here first. I, I can't call I can't call the AFC yet. But I'm gonna say damn. I can't believe I'm saying this. San Francisco 49ers versus whoever. I'm saying that right there. But uh yeah, Cowboys y'all looking like some shit. You know Stephen A, he, he you know he popped up with the hat on, you know he did his video laughing. You know damn uh uh Skip Bayless taking the jerseys, balling them up. Even Micah Parsons. You know, I ain't know Micah Parsons be going, he be going live on TikTok. He made a comment talking about, you know, whenever they lose, it be, it be other other uh ex football players who be like you like praying on their downfall type shit. I was like, oh wow. How you really feel? I mean, I, I think more players, man, should, should speak on how they really feel after the game. Why not? Be good content. Shit. Create a podcast. You should create a after after the game podcast for each team. Let, let, let the players really spit, see what they got to say. Um, but I don't know who Dallas is playing next, but, I mean, they, they still won 10 games, so they'll go to the playoffs. But y'all might get smashed first game, though. So, uh, worst of luck to you. Lastly. You know I got to get on them Eagles. Ooh, ooh, clap for the Eagles. <laughs> clap for the Eagles. Clap for them. Clap for Cornell. Cornell. Cornell, I'm clapping for you. I'm clapping for you. I'm clapping for you. <laughs> All right, Cornell, I, I got to get you while you're down, bro. They lose to the Seahawks. They lost to Drew Goddamn Lock, 17 to 20. Philly's 10 and 4 too. These 10 and 4 teams looking suspect out here. That's all I'm saying. Jalen Hurts, 17 for 31, 143 yards, two interceptions. I heard it was sick though. So maybe, I mean, that's not an excuse to lose, but I mean, you know, you could have just not played. But um, two interceptions. And he had two touchdowns off the little the butt, the butt tush push, butt, butt plug, whatever the fuck they call the play is. He had he had two touchdowns off of that. Drew Locke, 22 for 33. 20 through 22. Of 33, 208 yards, one touchdown, back up quarterback, scorching y'all asses. I like Drew Locke, man. He, he got the energy, man. Drew Locke can come to the cookout. He was singing that Jeezy like he was really there with Jeezy. Old school. Looked at, looked at a clip up when he was with Denver. He was uh, singing uh, Put On For My City, word for word. I like it. Um, good game, man. Uh, Seahawks was playing. They was hitting. Um uh, 
you know, I, I seen in another clip. Just, just we just, just, just happened last week. I think it was with a Philly staff member. You had a a a, a Seahawks staff member, um, like try to step and do some little like shoulder shove bullshit on AJ Brown when he caught the caught the ball. He ran out of bounds. Either caught it or he missed it. He was out of bounds, and he was kind of mouthing off to the defender that was checking him, and then. You know, he goes to step, and then all of a sudden, this staff member just steps in front of him. So they so they can inadvertently bump each other type of shit. So then, they, you know, they kind of mouthing off. I'm like, why y'all keep doing that, bro? Like, you already know what's going to happen. The NFL is going to investigate it. You're going to be banned from playing on the sidelines. What are you gaining by doing that? You know what I'm saying? Because if that's me, if if I'm Jalen Hurst, I'm be like, hey, 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 AJ, hey, come talk to me. I, I got a plan. We're going to do a fade route. Let, I, I'm going At this point as a quarterback, I'm going to get back. So I'm going to sacrifice a play. It's going to be first down. I'm going to say, look, fade route. We're going to hike the ball, and I'm going to throw that bitch in the air right over where he at. I'm going to act like I'm going to catch it, and I'm going to go out of bounds, and I'm going to pop his motherfucking ass. Put him right on his ass and be like, oops. What they going to think? They, they, they ain't going to think it's on purpose. It's just like when them cameramen get hit by accident. So I just think y'all need to be fucking mindful of what y'all doing when y'all on these side. I like these ain't NFL players. I know you know they don't want to jeopardize their check, but to grab somebody up real quick and just get suspended for a game, it might you know depending on the situation, man, it might be worth it. Um, but um, yeah, y'all still lost though. Um, Monday Night Football too. It's prime, it's prime time games, man. Look, that's why I said the Commanders next year don't all one o'clock games. We don't want no four o'clocks. We don't want no Thursdays. We don't want no Christmas. We don't want no Thanksgiving. We don't want none of that. We don't want no a day after New Year's. Just give us one o'clock games. Let us just blend in with all the rest of the teams, and then we can quietly win or lose. I keep saying we, and it's right now. It's really y'all. It's really y'all team, not mine. So, um, but we'll see, man. Uh, playoffs is going to be crazy, though, man. It's a lot of teams with 10, 11, probably going to be 12 wins. But that shit don't mean nothing when you get the playoffs, man. It could be a team that only got fucking nine, eight or nine wins that get in there and, and take that bitch to the house. Look, look, look at the old Seahawks back in the day. So, NBA. So, not too much with the NBA, man. Uh, the Lakers, they, they hung their in-season tournament uh, win banner. And, you know, of course, the internet is making a joke about this shit. Look. Championship is a championship, you know what I'm saying? It is weird, like the Lakers winning the championship and then they lose until like the Mavs like like two nights later. You know what I mean? Like they didn't just win. I it is weird, but bro, come on, man. Like if this is something again, at the end of the day, this is to bring more people to the TV to watch basketball. You know what I'm saying? I do believe that we are gonna over time, we are gonna get a better product. We're gonna get a better basketball experience by them doing this tournament thing every year i would more so be worried about injuries but shit you get paid millions of dollars man charged to the game um so at the end of the day it's still a it's still a good look that that we that this was done shout out to adam silver now let's give him a clap <clears throat> anyway so they hung the banner, man. Congratulations to them. Whether the shit look funny or not, they they making Kobe memes with him frowning his face up. Like, what the fuck is this? Well, you know, it is what it is. Another banner hung. Shit, who who, who knows if the next banner will be best? You know, participation. If if it's a banner, it go up. It's a banner. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, Draymond is still out, man. And um, what I read online is that now he's in you know his little therapy counseling session or something like that, and he's still gonna be suspended. He's going to be suspended for a while, man. I, I listen, I will be surprised, like, if he is if he's back any earlier than when, – when is All-Star Week? All-Star Week coming up? I think that, to me, if he's back any earlier than, like, let's say kind of close to, like, playoff time, I think that's crazy. Too many, too many chances, bro. And you know what? I take back that comment I said. I, I made a comment saying that Draymond – well, as of lately – I feel like he's only picking on the foreign players, but there there have been times where he done done something with, with with some some folks too. So I take back that comment. Um, I, I didn't want to. Uh, I just wanted to correct that. Let me get some water. Mouth a little dry today. Pause. Um. Also, I, I ain't really got too much to say about the Wizards. They've only won four games. Um. It is what it is at this point. I guess they tanking. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Kenny Lofton. 
just got waived by Memphis, Memphis, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I'd, I'd be looking if you want somebody with somebody. You know what I'm saying? You know the issue with the Wizards is we don't we don't really got no presence down low. So I'm just saying you can probably get him for the cheap, cheap. And uh, shit, he might even work his way into the lineup. I'm just saying. Um, so I don't even know who they play next. They playing like some shit. But uh, oh, and lastly, John Morant suspension is done. His 25 games are up, so he's back. Playing, they're gonna be playing the Pelicans either today or tomorrow. But John Morant is back. Are we excited or not? I am shit. I'm excited for Ja. Memphis looking like some cold shit, and maybe he can come back and 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 do something. But his suspension is done, time served. You know what I'm saying? So clean slate. I'm a believer in that. It's just like if you you go to prison or something, you do your time, you get out. All right, well you you did your time. So he did his 25 games. He was quiet. You know what I'm saying? He didn't say nothing. Did his thing. I hope hopefully he kept hopefully kept kept himself ready. Um and let's get back to basketball, man. So shout to John Morant, man. I'm gonna be tuning into that game, man. Definitely gonna be some on the bench on that shit. Um, but that's all I got, bro. Um, we getting to the end of the year, man. And um, I just would definitely like to say that I'm I'm just so grateful for everybody who tuned into the show. I'm grateful for all the guests I've had over the years. I mean, this year, I'm grateful for all the experiences that I had. Uh, whether I pulled up to some events, I'm grateful to come up with my new segment. I'm just, I'm just grateful, man. I'm having fun. And that's something that I don't think that I was able to say last year. I felt like I was, I was stressed out last year. I was doing a lot trying to, trying to be the next damn, you know, best, best sports podcast. You know what I'm saying? I didn't even start calling my shit a sports podcast till the other day. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make an announcement that, about that shit at the end of the year. It's going to be an announcement. There's going to be some changes and adjustments. For 2024, it's still early, so I'm not going to uh, do that now. But, man, my son practice is, uh, well, he got another hour. But I got to go up there and, and support my boy. So uh, we're going to close it out, man. Make sure you share, share, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend. Captain's Law Podcast. Thank you so much. Captain out.